Taking over in the landscape of the kicks and copping any bricks. I'll fire you desire, but rock them, maybe flip. It's easy, you never trip. Get them early, you never miss. No bot, but if they have me get to the court, they cap. Now welcome to Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, yeah, Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, Sneaker World. Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Bobby Sneaker World, and I am back with another video. Now, I'm not, I don't plan on being in front of the camera long today. Not with these, um... Even though, allegedly, these are supposed to be super limited. Um, next to me, I have the new Pharrell uh, HUNMD Dash Greens. Uh, so I was able to secure a pair of those. Allegedly, there's only 7,000 plus pairs in the world. Don't know if that's true or people just don't want them. You know what I'm saying? But I was able to secure a pair. But before we get into this box, if you're new around here and that big button down below is still red, you're doing it all wrong. Make sure that button is gray. Join the movement, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. We're doing big things over here. We're having fun. Um, But I, like I said, I'm not going to stay in front of y'all long. So I'm going to try to get straight into this. This box has been sitting at the house for about a week. Uh, and I just didn't do a review. It just been sitting here. So I did open the the brown boxes over there, but the NMD box is here. You got your HU with the triangle there. It says 2018. Is that when Pharrell started making HUs? Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, so it has a three up here. Let that focus, it has a three up top, HU, and then 2018 there this is j size so this is his hunmd size six and a half just says originals um where it was made vietnam and then you got a little barcode over there let me see if i can get that to focus there you go y'all can see that and we're gonna crack right into these because there was a little bit of People don't know how to feel about these. And I honestly didn't know how to feel about these. Jay really liked them from pictures. I was definitely on the fence. Um, I own a pair of uh, Trail NMDs in the cream colorway. I love these. But you can see it has that all prime knit upper and all that. Beautiful. I'm glad that they're getting away from the trail outsoles and going back to the OGs. These big knots on the bottom, I can do without, but I do still love that colorway and that sneaker. Now, this sneaker comes, bam. This is how it's coming. And as you can see, I'm gonna get really close and uncomfortable on the camera. Try to get that to focus in. You, I thought, that this upper was mesh. It is not mesh. It is still prime knit material. It's just not together. It's super spaced out to look like netting all around the upper of the sneaker. Now, I do not know if how I feel about that aesthetic, but I thought it was some type of plastic mesh. What which was my biggest gripe on these. I thought I was like, man, that is weird. Why would they change it and make it some type of plastic mesh? But it's not. It's still prime knit material. It's just spaced out to look like netting. Now, this, I believe, on the front is Japanese. I could be wrong, but I believe that that is Japanese on both uppers. Um, and then you got spare laces. You have like a teal blue, like a grayish teal blue. I don't know what color that is, but y'all can see that. Um, these are going to go to her toe. So I'm not even, you know, these not for resale or anything like that, even though they were limited. She actually wanted them. So she got them. So I, you know, I put in and I was able to cop. Uh, put in on the confirmed 
raffle and I hit. Now, was I under the impression that that 7,000 uh, pair limitation was going to bring in huge profits? I was wrong, um, but that's okay. You know, you swing and you miss sometime. Uh, but so these will be going to the toe. Uh, I do, you know what I do like about these though? I do like the color contrast. I like the teal uppers or green or dash green with the cell midsole because the outsole is black with your ultra boost you can see through to the, down there through the bottom. But this is a very, very heavy cell midsole ultra boost. Um, I typically don't like when it's a huge color difference like white laces and a cell also i would rather than be one in the same i don't care if you make this cell or this white and this white either way i typically prefer that i don't like when it's white and cell on the same sneaker but these work man these aren't bad i do wish that they were made um with the prime knit all tightly wound together but it's different um and they're not for me so you know what i'm saying i ain't gotta wear them uh, but no, this is how the tag looks. Just for those that may be getting theirs from somebody else, like if you buy them from a second hand, I mean from a, like a reseller or StockX or whatever else. I don't know what the numbers are now. Like I said, they've been sitting here for a week and they weren't they weren't doing anything a week ago. Um, but y'all let me know in the comment section down below how y'all feel about these. I know these aren't gonna get a bunch of love uh, but I do like for my personal opinion, I think on the 7th of November that they have the OG type, the old flat bottom and a, like a blue and a green and a yellow and all this. Those are dope. I like those colors. Not so much this NMD, but I ain't mad at it either. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below how y'all feel about the Pharrell hue nmd dash green this is a six and a half man this how for real coming i ain't mad man i'm not mad at him coming back with some i think that it's gonna i think for real is about to blow back up again but these y'all let me know ov